Hi, my name is Michaelis Contargis, and this is my graduate project for CSCI introductory Python course at Harvard Extension School during spring of 2017. What this project is about is creating subtitle files uh, in Python using a uh, speech recognition module. Uh, in this case, you will be needing PyAudio, Google API client, speech recognition, and daytime module. Uh, you can do a lot with PyAudio. Uh, it's particularly powerful because it's a binding for port audio. Uh, you can input audio from your microphone, you can input uh, audio files, and then you can use Google or Sphinx, Watson, MS Bing, there's a bunch uh, to create um, text files or transcribe text. Essentially, this is what um, an SRT file is. It has a block, start time, end time, and then a text. So, in Python, what are some of the basic subtitle formatting tools? We can make our text bold. We can italicize our text and also underline our text. We can change font color to blue, red, green, and hot pink. In the code itself, you see numbers for color like 804040, which is in fact a color hex. So the formatting structure seen in this code is the same as in HTML, which makes it pretty easy to find formats that work for you. You may think, what good does this do? Try and read this. It's not the best font, is it? I had the idea for this project after I tried to watch a movie that had an SRT file with absolutely terrible fonts for subtitles. So SRT formatting was something useful for me in that particular case. But why even bother with SRT files in Python? Well, Python has a speech recognition module that can be used to create subtitles from speech. So the subtitles you saw on the bottom um, were written before I recorded the video. Not that cool, really time consuming, but it's one way to start um, an SRT file or to add to an SRT file. Um, I mean, you have to go in and sync the times. So. How can we use speech recognition? In this case, I used the Google speech recognition module. Um, I find it the best out of the bunch that they have. Uh, and the way to do it is you import Pi Audio, speech recognition, and then you're using your microphone as your source. Uh, and then you're listening. Well, Python's listening. That audio file is then recognized by Google, so it's transcribed, and what you get back is the text. So let's try it out. Hi, my name is Michael, and this is a tutorial for speech recognition. Pretty long, and it got it all right, which is really cool. Uh, props to Barry, who wrote this on GitHub. I just included it in, in here so people can try out and make sure that all their modules work before getting to the main code. Uh, I'm not going to go through this, but uh, you can do with this. Is it's, it's just another way to input your audio. Instead of recording it, you can just use um, an audio file. Now, the next part is how do I get... Um, the timestamps to change every time I read something, uh, and how do I get them into proper SRT format? So what I did was I used the time date time module, um, and all you pretty much need to know is that zero 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 uh, creates zero zero zero. So this is your hour, and this is your minute, and this is your second. Uh, in the example that I first showed up here, uh, you have the milliseconds. You don't really need those. You could include them, but I don't. Now, what I'm doing is I'm taking in a sentence. In this case, I like koala bears. And um, I'm counting how many words I have in the sentence at this point. Sentence.split, something we've seen before. And then I am adding half a second for each word. Um, online, I found that an average of one second to read a word 
I find that to be too much. So in this case, I like koala bears, that's four words. It should add two seconds from the start time, which is what I'm doing at this point. And then converting it to string, and then adding to a text file, which this could be changed to .srt. So let's run it real quick. And what we get is this right here, which is perfect because it's the SRT notation. So after I got to this part, uh, I thought to myself, all right, how do I grab this input or this text uh, and turn it into uh, the SRT notation? So I created a recursive function. I import all the modules that I mentioned above. Uh, and then I set the start time at 720, which in this video, I think we're about six minutes right now. Uh, but you, I mean, you can change it depending. Uh, and then the max time, which is when it should all end is eight minutes because we can't go over eight minutes. So ideally, if I were to do this whole process, uh, just by using uh, this function, it should end at the at eight minute mark. Now, what we're doing is, uh, like I said, building a recursive function. Uh, the two arguments it takes is the time and the block number. So my base case is, if the current time that I'm returning uh, is more than the max time, then stop recording. Speech recognition is complete. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. I only added uh, an if statement that says, if you hear speech recognition it is over, then end the whole thing. And then the sentence that it's counting is a sentence that I inputted um, from the speech module. So let's try it out. The subtitles you see on the bottom were created straight through the function. I only added proper punctuation at the end of the sentence. Speech recognition is over. So let's see what we created. Well, what we created is what you saw as a subtitle, but what the script actually exported was this. So it added to the file we already created in the first step. Um, and then here at 14, it added all the things, it added the text and the timestamps um, from the voice recognition. So that concludes it. I hope you enjoyed this video.